Hello my loves, welcome to part two of kind of setting up my filming room. So this is unpacking and I know you've seen this footage before if you watched my first video in this series. Uh, to start I had to sort out some of these boxes. I couldn't, I couldn't do anything in this room without sorting something out with this mess. So what I decided to do was go through these boxes and pull out all of my skincare, hair care, body care, all of the things that I had decided I was going to store in uh, our ensuite, which has amazing storage. Thank God, love it, blessed. So this felt like a really big job. I felt like I was taking boxes and boxes and boxes of stuff into the ensuite. And when I was trying to pack it away, which you'll see later in the video, I was just like, oh my God, I have so much. But now my opinion on that has changed a little bit. My stash of like skincare, body care and hair care, especially skincare is super under control but I digress step number one in this room was just starting to unpack some of those boxes so I could get the furniture set up because it meant that I didn't need as many storage drawers in this room so once I had unpacked some of those boxes got all of the like bathroom products that I wanted out and made room for furniture I then had the problem of just boxes upon boxes of stuff in the ensuite. Now, the ensuite, it's a good size, but it's not big enough to be storing boxes in it. So it was a real priority to unpack some of those things. I completely took over this whole storage cabinet um, I didn't think Chris would have any use for it. He is not like me. He does not need 20 million products. No one needs 20 million products. He doesn't like having 20 million products. I do. So I took over this storage space and I started filling this with body care and hair care. I wanted skin care to go in uh, a different cupboard. So I just took my time unpacking everything. A lot of these boxes had been in my car for a very, very long time, months. It took months for my car to get to Perth. Um, and then they stayed in boxes even after I'd received my car because we were still in the process of purchasing a house and moving. So I didn't un unpack anything until this point. So what I was doing was going through, just wiping some stuff down so it wasn't dusty and double checking that there'd been no leaks. I think I did have one thing leak. It might've been like a body wash. I can't remember, but it was nothing. Everything looked really good and seemed to have traveled well, which is great. So I took my time with this. Um, I think it worked out okay. I definitely think now that I have experienced both storage drawers and storage cupboards, that my preference would be storage drawers. And it is quite difficult when I'm looking for something very specific, uh, if it's, you know, right at the back of the cupboard to find, but you know, it's okay. It's all right. I would prefer to work with this and, you know, just be happy with what I have rather than spending money on more storage drawers because just no. Okay, so this is uh, under the sink. 
this is where I wanted to keep all of my skincare stuff and I also keep like the current hair care and body care products that I'm using. I pulled everything out just to like clean it up and sort of rejig some stuff. We did, uh, this is like a dual sink, so there's two sinks on the bench, it's a his and hers, uh, and each sink has these double door cupboards underneath, and then there is a drawer storage unit in the middle. So I pulled out everything because I thought, you know, some things can go into the drawers. I had one of the drawers I use for like hair products. Um, like my hair dry and hair brushes and stuff like that. The top one I use for dental stuff So like floss and toothpaste and all that jazz Which Chris and I both use and the middle one I use for feminine hygiene products So I just wanted to pull everything out give it a clean and start to come up with a process of how this drawer was going to work and make sure that it was functional my big thing is being functional and like making it easy to use stuff so I'm sort of mapping things out as I go. So my plan for this cupboard was for the bottom drawer to be for storage for products that I had an excess of, so things that I hadn't opened yet, um, or things that I was sort of slowly working through or I would use on occasion. And the top shelf was going to be for things that were in my everyday beauty routine or were used on a fairly regularly based, regularly God, words, fairly regular basis. Thank you. Oh, and now we're back to the uh, the other cupboard. Oh, it's never ending. Um, I don't know what I'm doing here. I've obviously found more products that need to be put away, but I'm just putting them away. So I've got body stuff up the top there's like body wash body scrubs body moisturizers then there's like hand and foot stuff in that little tub down the bottom I have um, SPF products and then all a bunch of hair stuff now while the unpacking was happening and the furniture building was happening and I was trying to prepare for friends to come and visit uh, I also had mum sending me boxes upon boxes upon boxes and like everything that comes into this house that is in a box it needs to be unpacked now it wasn't always beauty stuff sometimes it was like plant stuff or mum would send me more warm clothes because I clearly didn't bring enough coat hangers that was a big thing I kept asking mum for please send me coat hangers I am struggling I'm pretty sure this is the only footage that I have available for this video that will give you some clickety clackety joy so I'm just gonna shut up and let you enjoy it so that was the first moment when I started to pack away some makeup it was just my like everyday makeup bag that I had been using since uh, January and this was Oh, when was I unpacking this? Probably June. So it had been a long time coming and I just got my like vanity slash desk set up and I popped all of the makeup that was in my makeup bag into that drawer. That was a good feeling. Once I had all of the furniture set up, it was straight back into unpacking mode. I had more boxes from mum. I had boxes that I had even sent to myself in January and not fully unpacked because I had nowhere to put the stuff so I just started going through them and slowly sort of I would bunch things so things that I knew would stay in the filming room would go into a pile things that would go elsewhere into the house I would pop them into like another box and then I would walk around the house and try to unpack things here and there so I as I was unpacking more and more boxes I developed a bit of a better process I would have like a box of things that I wanted to go into the office things for the kitchen things for the bedroom you get it I was however also discovering things that I just didn't have enough room for. I wanted to keep some empty drawer space 
for guests who were coming. So if they wanted to unpack their clothes, they could do that. So I started to then pop some things back into boxes and those boxes went in the garage. I'll also tell you those boxes still haven't been unpacked, but they have been removed from the garage and they are sitting in my filming room as we speak ready to be unpacked hopefully sometime this week so i found all of my nail stuff and i decided right this is something i can sort of deal with like now um i wanted a nail drawer i had one in melbourne i loved it very functional it was a lot bigger than the one that i'm setting up here but i didn't bring much of my nail stuff with me so it's okay it's not looking good and it needs it, it just needs me to give it some more reorganization. Um, so maybe we'll do that in the future. I will fix it up. I will, you know, make it a bit more functional for myself. And then we can get the clickety clacks happening for you guys. Cause I know you love that. But for now you can just, you can witness how many nail polishes I dragged from the other side of the country with me. All right, it's another day and my pile is shrinking. I had put quite a bit of stuff um, in the garage just to get it out of the way because I knew that I didn't have anywhere to store it for now. But I just wanted to tidy up this pile because I knew that uh, I wanted to get the makeup into my Alex drawer. So I'm just vacuuming up the spot that I want the Alex drawer to go into. I want it to be clean before I put the furniture there. That's a rule. Okay guys, the time has come. You're about to see the full extent of my makeup collection go into my Alex drawers. The footage here is not great. The camera was struggling. Uh, I don't have audio. I'm sorry. I know, I know, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I really screwed that up because I know you guys love the clickety clack, but I just, I didn't turn the mic on. But as you can probably see from how I am literally just throwing things in these drawers, I do intend to come back to this and have a full blown reorganization of this unit. So the way I've set these drawers up is base products in the top drawer, face mists in the second. I think the third drawer is single eyeshadows, eyeliners, uh, brow products, stuff like that, mascaras. Third drawer, I'm pretty sure, was all of my cheek products. Highlighters, blushes, and bronzers. I don't know how that's gonna work for me long term. Uh, the fourth drawer, I think, is lipsticks, because I'm pretty sure I can stand up lipsticks in one of the uh, deeper bottom drawers. And the last drawer is palettes. The palette drawer is probably my biggest concern uh, because I couldn't actually fit all of my eyeshadow palettes in there. I had to take some and put them in other drawers that had some space. Now, I'm not too worried about that because I have started testing out my eyeshadows. So there will certainly be palettes that are being decluttered in the very near future, which means I will make room. Um, in this drawer, which will be great. But I think ultimately I would never ever want more makeup than what can fit in this unit C comfortably, not so jam packed that I can't access stuff either. Uh, here I am bringing in more boxes that need unpacking that I had. I think I'd put them in the theater room, maybe. I don't know. Whatever. Oh, I'm actually getting a headache just looking at it. I'm so glad that this is my past life and not my current life. Here 
here I am trying to make as much as I possibly can fit into this bottom drawer. And while I feel like I've run around this room and done so much, when I show you this shot, I feel like it's still so messy and there is still so much to do. As long as there's stuff on the floor and like piles of crap on top of benches or the desk or whatever, it's not done. There is still so much to do. But of course, if you persevere, you always get there in the end. So I got this room to a point where there was just a few things that I still needed to put away in the garage or pick up around the room, vacuum, and then it was ready for guests. And I considered myself unpacked enough to work and uh, you know be able to use all of the things that I wanted access to and that I could come back to the rest later. All right, here is the last thing that I officially unpacked. It was more stuff for the bathroom, yay. So this was a collection of stuff that um, I'd found in boxes that hadn't been unpacked when I originally started unpacking the room and also uh, stuff that mum had sent me. So I'm just setting up my little perfume stand here, which I freaking love. Pretty sure I got this from Ikea like years ago i've had it for years but i adore it when i was in geraldton i discovered that all of my face masks actually fit into this refer palette organizer so i knew that that was something that i wanted to do so i just filled it up and popped it in my uh, ensuite cabinet Oh, I'm glad we're finishing this video with the uh, perfume display tray thingy. <laughs> I'm gonna set that up for you guys. I love it. It just, I don't know, it makes me so happy. Uh, but you can also see some tubs to the right of that tray that I haven't unpacked yet. And it's simply because I don't have anywhere to put them. My plan is to get some um, like storage drawers, maybe some acrylic drawers to pop in the cupboard that they're currently sitting on and organize things a little bit better in there. But again, that's a down the track problem. That's a video for another day. But that's where I'm gonna leave it for the unpacking, guys. I do hope you enjoyed this video. There will be more videos uh, to do with my filming room in the future, but like I've said, I just need to take a little break from it because it was such a big job and it was so rushed and uh, <laughs> overwhelming. I want to say a big, big, big thank you to my channel members. I love you guys so much. Feel free to leave your comments down below if you got anything to say about this video and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.